Coho fishing is taking off here in Puget Sound and I wanted to showcase how I like to tie my squid skirt rigs up. Super simple and easy, but you first gotta start with a skirt of your choice. This is my favorite here, an octopus style herring imitation, so to say, of the squid skirts. This one's a gold star. There's different shapes and sizes. This one happens to be a slimmer profile needlefish. But between the two, you guys have some options based on the bait that's around. And I'll have all the links in the description below on what those are. In addition to the squid skirts themselves, I have a Mylar insert. It's got glow and flash and definitely is something you want to have regardless. Coming to hooks, you can tie your own and I'll show this how it's done. Or there are pre-tied versions as well. To tie your own, I like having opposing hook directions, and that I think really makes a difference on getting your bites. Um, but like I said, there are pre-tied versions you can buy commercially made, and they will work. Now these are, I will say, set up more so for an actual herring, so your hook spacing is gonna be different. They will catch fish regardless though. But we're going to tie our own, and I typically like to run my hoochie skirt rigs either 28 to 36 inches, and that's after they're tied. So definitely want to give yourself plenty of room here and be able to tie these things up. So this is a basic bait loop knot. You can see, uh, I'll show it really quickly here, but there are other videos out there how to do this. I usually do eight wraps, make it easy, and then the last four wraps to seal the knot off are at the end of it um, as you can see creates a bait loop but also a very very good secure knot when it comes all together and so tie this all up then you have your rig set up on the back hook and you have to make sure to wet the line in order for that knot to secure itself pull it through Secure it nice and firm. There is the back hook with the bait loop. Makes it super easy and simple to tie. Use scissors, cut the tag end off, and then we are gonna now do the second hook. This is done in how I was shown long ago to run opposite directions of the way that the hooks face themselves. In doing so, it just has more hook area to grab in the fish's mouth when they bite. So I typically try and put a lot of time for my hoochie rigs with squids right up against the back of the bend of the hook. And again, same thing, eight wraps. Tag end goes back through the eye, makes a loop. And I finish that off with four more crossing wraps. Pull it tight, and it is cinched down, ready to add our bead spacers. And, and right there in itself is the basic of the rig altogether with the hook layout. You can see, stretch out the leader, kind of just make sure you're measuring right where you need to for overall distance. But then I like to use and have found the lighter, the spacer, the better. And these glow stack beads along with a glow corky, and that is a size 10 corky, all really make a nice profile to fill the inside of that squid skirt without being too heavy a weight. And you can add or, or subtract one of those stacker beads based on what you have. For this particular Mylar glow insert, you can kind of play and see. I always try and just look and really check to where the end of that lands. So having the spacing of that top hook right at the edge of the end where the tinsel is, or even the edge of the squid skirt in itself, you really put your hooks in a position that when a fish grab it, it's getting right there into the hooks versus short striking. So that in itself is pretty dang close to where you could be totally fine with uh, once you slide that squid skirt down 
that's definitely going to extend those hooks a little bit past the everything on material wise um, but i'm going to play with this one and try putting the actual just one corky in the glow stack beads and try what that looks like and see where the spacing sits at because at the end of the day everything kind of more or less just falls into a preference of how you like to fish personally i like that back hook trailing right at the edge of the skirt and that way i think it gives you the most maximizing hookups just like you see there and this is the finished product with it all together leader and a flasher important to note tied directly no swivels nothing but just a direct tie and ultimately for this one it's tied at 28 inches gives it a really good action that is perfect setup ready to fish and how i rig up any of my squid skirts for salmon fishing here in puget sound now the coho fishing is great right now we actually got to go use this out on the water and it was a huge hit so check these pictures out right here some nice fresh coho right on the same rig that you just saw us tie up there hope you guys have a blast and fish on